And finally, new rule, Hollywood has to remake Sophie's Choice. But this time, it's about the current battle for the Republican nomination, and Sophie's horrible choice isn't that she can't save both her children, it's that one of them has to live. Now, I know that picking between Donald Trump and Ted Cruz is driving Republicans crazy. Mitt Romney got so angry today, he punched the wall and yelled, Fudgesicle. <laughs> I almost feel bad for Republicans, although not really, because they did it to themselves. Jesus, you guys started out with 17 candidates, and somehow you wound up with Mussolini and Joe McCarthy. <laughs> In recent, <laughs> in recent weeks, Republicans have even been coming up to me on the street or at a party or in an airport restroom and... <laughs> and saying, Bill, give me a hand. <laughs> they say, sure, Trump and Cruz are both despicable ass clowns, but which one is less awful? Glad you asked, I say, because there always is a more correct choice. And I'm not just saying this to my Republican friends. I'm saying this to liberals, too. Hillary Clinton is not a sure thing. You need a fallback besides suicide in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to stay here and eat all this kale. <laughs> <laughs> So let's look at the differences, and there are real and important ones between Cruz and Trump. They're not the same. Comparing them is apples and orange. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump is like Ebola. He'll violently kill you right away. <laughs> Cruz is more like the Zika virus. We... <laughs> we won't see the damage until future generations. <laughs> Donald Trump wants to build a wall to keep out creepy foreigners. Ted Cruz is proof we need it. <laughs> Ted Cruz <laughs> has a daughter who doesn't want him to touch her. <laughs> Whereas Donald Trump's daughter is fine with it. Oh. <laughs> he, he said it, by the way. He said it. But perhaps the most important difference between the two men is this. Donald Trump is the most thin-skinned person in human history and reacts to the smallest slight with the hair-trigger wounded ego of a male flight attendant. <laughs> Whereas Ted Cruz is immune to insults because he's learned to live in a world where everyone, everywhere, has always hated him. <laughs> Vaudevillians used to say they were born in a trunk. Ted was born stuffed in a locker. <laughs> like a growing number of Republicans, Lindsey Graham publicly supports Cruz even as he mentions that Ted makes his skin crawl. <laughs> It's sort of like when they ask a gay actor to kiss a woman, they'll do it, but only because it's their job. In fact, it's exactly like that. <laughs> and... <laughs> and then there's Trump, whose three main endorsers are Sarah Palin, Chris Christie, and Ben Carson. Or as I call them, catty, fatty, and batty. So that's it, Republicans. I feel your pain. You're stuck between a rock and a gross place. <laughs> the house of asshole or the house of douchebag? <laughs> team werewolf or team vampire? <laughs> Verizon or AT&T? But... <laughs> but we have to accept that being a grown-up means hard choices between disgusting options. You have to decide. We all have to decide. So... Let me just say, in the choice between Trump and Cruz, I foursquarely choose Ted Cruz.
That's right. My choice is Ted... <laughs> Cruz, because... <laughs> Here's the deal breaker with Donald Trump. He's a lunatic. If a non-rich or non-white person said the things he says, they wouldn't put him in the White House, they'd put him in Bellevue. We can't make a crazy... We can't make a crazy person commander-in-chief. There are actual job requirements. It's not like Mardi Gras Parade King. Do I think President Trump would actually disappear people? No, but I can't rule it out. <laughs> With him, I can't rule anything out. What does he do on day one? Send Megyn Kelly to Guantanamo Bay? <laughs> or me? He's already sued me. The president signs off on a kill list every day and sends out the drones. And I like going outside. <laughs> So, yes, Ted Cruz will be our worst president, but Donald Trump might well be our last, <laughs> which is why I say, better dead than Ted. <laughs>